Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the rose trellis throw, which you can see here in the photo as well as if you uh, head over to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, you'll find some more photos of this blanket pattern there. Also there you'll find the free written instructions for the full blanket. Uh, that we are going to learn about today and the direct link to this pattern can be found in the description of this video. So this is the rose trellis throw. I'll be able to show you a corner of it here uh, in my video. This is an easy crochet pattern and it's featured, it's made up of a primarily moss stitch body with this elongated uh, kind of trellis looking edge which is where it gets its name. So for this pattern today we are going to be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook as well as I used about 2,000 yards of the Karen one pound yarn by yarn inspiration. So that works out to be about three balls of yarn. You're not going to use all of that third ball so you're only going to need about 2,000 yards of it. This is a lightweight throw. It's the same on both sides. So it's a great all season blanket. And as I mentioned before, it uh, is an easy blanket. It's made of, up of simple stitches such as single crochets and double crochets and chain stitches. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to take a look around. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I look forward to bringing you more great patterns and stitch tutorials. So let's grab our hooks and our yarn and get started. So just a couple more things as we get started here. The Karen One Pound yarn is a worsted weight or medium weight acrylic yarn so you can substitute this yarn for any uh, yarn of your choosing it's uh, just take a look, look for that number four on the label uh, also for this pattern my blanket measured approximately 46 by 68 inches so in this video I will give you the instruction should you wish to change the size of your blanket Today, for the tutorial, I'm not going to work the entire blanket. I'm just going to work a swatch so that you can uh, get the idea of how it is done and uh, any potential challenges that may arise. So for your blanket, if you're making the blanket to the dimensions that I have done, you're going to start by working a slip knot. This blanket is worked in rows. And you're going to chain 200 chains. If you would like to change the size of your blanket for this body part, the main part of the blanket, you can chain any even number of stitches. So today in this tutorial, I'm actually only going to chain 40 chains. There's 10. and 40. So if you're again working it to the size that I have worked it, you're going to want, going to want to chain 200 chains or any even number if you want to adjust the size. Once you have your foundation chain, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, and into that fourth chain, work one single crochet stitch. You're then going to chain one, skip the next chain, and single crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one single crochet into the next stitch until you reach the end of your foundation chain where you will work your final single crochet stitch into that final chain. Add 
at the end of your foundation chain, you'll have a piece that looks like this. You're going to chain two and turn your work. You're now going to continue the moss stitch pattern by skipping this first single crochet and working one single crochet into the chain one space. So you have a first single crochet, but into that, so skip it, into that chain one space, work a single crochet stitch. Chain one, skip the next single crochet, and single crochet into the next chain one space. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip the next single crochet, and single crochet into the chain one space. Repeat that all the way down to your final turning chain three. In your row two, once you reach that turning chain three, you've single crocheted in the chain one space before, you're gonna chain one, and you're now going to work your final single crochet into that chain three space. So single crochet into that final chain three space, and that completes your row two. For row three, you're going to chain two and turn your work. You're now going to essentially repeat what you did in the last row. Skip the first single crochet and single crochet into the chain one space. Chain one, skip the next single crochet and single crochet into the chain one space. Repeat that all the way across to your chain two space. At the end of row three, once you reach that chain two space, you have worked a single crochet in that chain one space, you've chained one into that chain two space, you're going to work your final single crochet stitch. Always remember to work into that chain two space, otherwise your work is going to go crooked and you won't have a straight edge. At the end of row three, chain two and turn your work. Now for the rest of your pattern, until your work from the beginning measures approximately 54 inches or the desired length, you're going to repeat that row three. So skip the first single crochet, single crochet into the chain one space, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next space. Repeat that all the way across to your chain two where you will work your final single crochet into that chain two. You're going to repeat that row until your work measures 54 inches and then at that time you can meet me back here and we will work the edging together. Now once you have your 54 inches worked, I haven't worked that far on my little swatch here, but uh, you'll have worked about 54 inches now of the moss stitch pattern. Once you've done that, you're ready to start the edging on your blanket, and the edging is about 7 inches uh, thick on each side. So what you're going to do is there's no need to fasten off. You can chain one and turn your work so that you're ready to work along this top edge here first. The first thing that you're going to do is uh, you're going to work a single row of single crochet stitches all the way across. If you're working the pattern as I have written it, you're going to work a total of 193 single crochet stitches worked evenly along this edge. Okay, now at times you may have to skip a couple spaces just so you can evenly work the 193. There's a few less stitches than what would have been in the blanket, um, but that's just to keep it from bunching or uh, from flaring out too much. So work 193 stitches across. If you have changed the size of your blanket, you're going to work a multiple of six stitches 
plus 1. So today I'm actually going to work 37 single crochet stitches across. Okay, so just go ahead, work your single crochet stitches, and then meet me back here. Once you have worked your 193 single crochet stitches all the way across the one edge, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two of your edging, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into each of the first two stitches. Single crochet in the first stitch and then into the second. Next chain three. Skip the next three single crochet stitches, one, two, three, and work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. You're then going to repeat that across. Chain three, skip three, and work one single crochet in each of the next three. Continue to repeat that all the way across to your final uh, two stitches. At the end of row two, you're going to have your chain three, you've skipped three, you have two stitches remaining, you're going to single crochet into each of those remaining stitches. For row three, chain one and turn your work. You're now going to continue row three by working a single crochet into that first stitch at the base of your turning chain and then into that chain three space work seven double crochet stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven double crochet stitches all into that chain three space. Skip the next single crochet and single crochet into the next stitch. Skip the next single crochet and work seven double crochets into your chain three space. You're going to repeat this all the way across. So work seven double crochets into your chain three space, skip the next single crochet, single crochet into the next stitch, skip the next, and then seven double crochets all into the next. Continue that all the way across to your final two single crochet stitches. At the end of row three you're going to skip that next single crochet and single crochet into your final stitch. Now chain four and turn your work. For row four, you're going to skip that first single crochet that uh, your yarn is coming out of and you're going to skip the next two double crochet stitches. So there's one, two. Into each of the next three stitches work one single crochet. So there's one, two and three. Chain three, skip the next five stitches, so skip the next two double crochets, the single crochet, and the next two double crochets, and then single crochet into each of the next three stitches. And repeat that across. Chain three, skip the next five stitches, and single crochet into each of the next three stitches. Continue that all the way across to uh, your final th um, three single crochets. Uh, 
I'm just going to continue across. I'm here in my final three single crochets on my row four. You're then going to chain two at the end and double crochet into that single crochet stitch. And that brings you to the end of your row four. For row five, you're going to chain two or chain three and turn your work. Row five, you're then going to continue by working three double crochet stitches into that chain two space. So work three double crochets into that first chain two space. Your chain three there at the beginning does count as a double crochet. You're then going to skip the next single crochet stitch, single crochet into the next, skip the next single crochet, and work seven double crochets into your chain three space. Repeat that all the way across to that starting chain four. Once you have your seven double crochets, skip one, single crochet, skip one, and seven more. I'm nearing the end of my row five. I'm going to single crochet into that middle single crochet in that stitch and then I'm here at my chain four. Into your chain four you're going to work four double crochet stitches. So just into that space. Just like so. And that brings you to the end of your row five. For row six you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're going to begin by working a single crochet into each of the first two stitches. So the one right there at the base of your turning chain and then into the next stitch single crochet. Skip the next five stitches, chain three, Skip the next five and work one single crochet in each of the next three. Repeat that all the way across, chain three, skip the next five stitches and single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Continue that all the way across to your final four double crochets. When you reach your final four double crochets, you're going to single crochet, uh, you're going to, going to skip the five and then single crochet into each of the final two stitches. One of those is your turning chain, so single crochet in the last double crochet, and then just into the top of your turning chain. Now that brings you to the end of the repeat for the edging. Uh, you're then going to chain one, turn your work, and you are for the edging you're going to repeat rows three through to six, so that row we just worked, two more times. So your row three started with a single crochet in the first stitch, followed by your seven double crochets and repeat that pattern up through to row six. Do that two more times and then you're going to end your edging with one final row three. So the single crochet, skip one, 
and seven double crochet. You want to end on that row. Once you have done that, you are going to fasten off and weave in your ends and your rose trellis throw is then complete. Just a reminder that the written pattern is there available for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and uh, thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time and until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.